Today, we're gonna to build an entire men's athletic brand with AI using ChatGPT and MidJourney. Brand building is one of the most important things you can do for your business. It doesn't matter if you have an incredible product if you're not able to market it. And building a brand is the first step to doing that. Not only that, but brand loyalty is one of the biggest key indicators of success for any business. Think about the last time you switched the brand of toothpaste you used or the brand of the phone that you're using right now to watch this. It's really incredible what the power of a great brand can do. And I wanna show you just how easy it is to build an entire brand with AI in just a couple minutes. You may have a great idea for a product, but you may have no idea where to start when it comes to building a brand. What's incredible is that with the advancements of AI, you don't even need to know what elements go into building a brand. You can just come straight into ChatGPT and you can ask it. So let's hop straight into ChatGPT to begin building out the elements of this brand. And then we're gonna move into Midjourney where we're gonna create some beautiful images that can be used all over social media and on the brand's website. Let's get started. Okay, so here we are in ChatGPT and we don't even know where to start. So I'm just gonna ask it. What elements go into building a brand? Question mark. ChatGPT is gonna give us all the answers. So we're gonna use ChatGPT to help us define exactly what our brand is. Now, ideally you'd have like a couple of ideas for maybe your brand's look and feel or at least what type of products you offer. So we're gonna give it a little bit of information, but then we're gonna ask it to actually fill in the rest of the gaps. So here are a couple things that it told us it needs. Brand purpose and values, the core principles that define why the brand exists and what it stands for. It's about the brand's mission and the value it embodies, which should resonate with its target audience. This is a really, really powerful statement and we're definitely gonna wanna start here. Next is the target audience. And again, it's okay if you don't know these things right now. We're gonna work with ChatGPT and we're gonna fill in everything in just a couple minutes. We need to know the target audience. Understanding who the brand is aiming to reach is crucial. We need a brand name and a tagline. Maybe you just have an idea for a product. In our case today, we're gonna to be doing a men's athletic brand, but we maybe don't even have a name or a tagline yet, which is something that's gonna be all over your marketing assets. So we're gonna use ChatGPT to create all of that. The brand name is the first point of contact with the audience. So it should be memorable, easy to pronounce and reflective of the brand's essence. A tagline further adds context, encapsulating the brand's mission or value proposition in a concise phrase. This is like your one sentence elevator pitch, right? If somebody asks you, oh, what does your company do? Your tagline is it. Super straight and to the point, really great. Brand identity, these are the visual elements that we're gonna start creating in mid-journey once we get a little bit further in this video. Logo, color scheme, typography, other visual elements, like I mentioned, product photography, images for the website. We're even gonna use Midjourney to help us come up with some ideas for what our website's UI should look like in the first place. Next, we have brand voice and personality. This refers to the persona the brand adopts in its communications. What does it sound like in writing when you're writing copy for your website and your marketing materials? Like, are you fun? Are you playful? Are you serious? Are you professional? Are you helpful and educational? What is it that you sound like? Brand positioning, this is about you versus your competitors. Brand experience, what is the experience like when interacting with your products? Storytelling, is there a story? Is there a mission behind your brand? What's the origin story? Why was this created? And consistency, consistency is the biggest factor in a brand. You want it to look and feel the same everywhere, on your website, on social, in marketing materials. What matters is that when people see something or read something, they know it's you, they know it's your product, they know it's your company, and they know it's your brand. This is so incredibly powerful. Every major company in the world utilizes these things to create massive, massive growth and massive revenue for their companies. So we're gonna use ChatGPT here to fill in these things. What's really great is we don't have to come up with these ideas all by itself. We can actually prompt ChatGPT to ask us questions to fill in all of this. So let's go ahead. Ask me some questions to begin building my brand. Super easy. What I love about ChatGPT is the dialogue. It thinks really logically. So if you don't know what to do, just ask ChatGPT to help you out. If we say, okay, this is great information, but I don't know what to do with it, then say, ask me some questions, maybe help me fill in this information. And that's exactly what it's doing. Ask, what is the purpose of your brand? What are the core values and principles? What's the mission statement? Who is your ideal customer? What name have you chosen for your brand and why? All this great stuff, these are great questions. And again, you may have these answers and you may not, but this is a really great place to get started. So I'm gonna fill in the information that I do know, and then I'm gonna ask ChatGPT to fill in the rest. So I've gone ahead and typed in, we are a men's athletic apparel brand. We sell performance shorts and shirts. We are strong and bold and powerful. We are a leader in quality and aesthetics. 
Based on this information, help me answer the remaining questions. I gave it some really broad information that I just created off the top of my head. Maybe you know this for your company, maybe you don't. Give ChatGPT whatever information you do have and just go ahead and click enter and it's gonna start filling in all the gaps for us. So this is a really great start. It's asking us a couple more questions to fill in and then I'm gonna have ChatGPT do this for us. Consider a name that evokes strength, performance, and excellence. Do you have any ideas for your brand's visual identity? Your logo could feature a strong, bold design that represents athleticism and durability. These are really great things to think about. Your color palette conveys power and energy, black, deep blues, or vibrant reds. Your brand's voice and tone. Great start. We're going to come back to this in just a couple minutes, but check this out. I'm going to say my company name starts with the letter X. Give me 10 options for brand names. Choosing a brand name that starts with X offers a unique and memorable approach, especially for a men's athletic apparel brand, emphasizing strength, boldness, and power. Here are 10 options for brand names. Extreme Fit Gear, Accelerate Performance, Zenith Athletic, Expand Athletics, X Factor Wear, Zion Performance, Extend Gear, Exodus Athletics, Xenon Performance, Explore Active Wear. I like either of these first two, Extreme Fit, or Accelerate, I think these are both really good. I think Extreme Fit is the one I'm gonna go with because not only does it have that strong X, but it says fit, which implies fitness and that there's some kind of gear or merch or apparel that goes with it. So I like that one. I'm gonna say, I like Extreme Fit. Please create taglines for me, give me 10 options. We're gonna use all this information all over our website and in all our marketing materials. Super, super helpful to have this. Once we're done gathering all the information from our website, we're gonna hop on over to Midjourney and we're gonna start creating all the visual assets. Push your limits, find your extreme, beyond boundaries, beyond fitness, where performance meets power, extreme gear for extreme goals. I kinda like that, it's got the double X, fits well with our brand, that's interesting. Let me know in the comments which one of these taglines you like. I like extreme gear for extreme goals. Let's go ahead and use that. Next, I'm just gonna ask it to write me copy for the website. I said, I need three sections, shopping, about us, and why we're different. Now it's gone ahead, it's creating all the copy for our website right now, and we can just go ahead and copy and paste this in, or we can ask it to make changes if we need some. The shopping experience, elevate your game with extreme fit. Welcome to extreme fit, where every stitch, seam, and fabric is designed with your ultimate performance in mind. Our collection of performance shorts and shirts is engineered for the athlete who demands more. More durability, more comfort, and more power. This is awesome. These are great things that we can use. This phrase right here, more durability, more comfort, and more power, we can use that all over the place. Then we go into the About Us section, our journey to extreme excellence. We're not just about athletic apparel. We're about forging a path to extraordinary achievements founded by athletes for athletes. Our journey began with a simply a powerful vision to create performance wear that transcends the ordinary. Fueled by passion and driven by excellence, we embarked on a mission to combine innovative design with unparalleled quality. So based off of the answers we gave ChatGPT earlier, it's pulling from that and using that to create all this awesome copy for our website. This is really great. This is beautifully written. It doesn't sound like a robot wrote this. It sounds like professional marketing material and we gave it very little prompting. And then why we're different. Unmatched quality, cutting edge design, performance driven, community focused. This is great. You can already see these sections on our website right now, just like that, maybe with an image in each. So the last thing I want to do before we start creating our images, I just want to get a color palette to work with. I'm going to say, based on what you know about our brand, give me a color palette and three primary brand colors. So it's going to give us a whole color palette, but then I just asked for three because we want to keep our visual identity really kind of simple and clean. Once, if you have too many colors in there, it gets kind of confusing. This is incredible. It says electric blue. It's even giving us hex code. So it's creating a color palette that actually matches with each other and is going to look good next to each other. Electric blue, graphite gray, and vivid red. I think those are really, really interesting. Now it's gone ahead and it's creating a supporting color palette for any secondary accents or things like that on the website or even in the merch itself. Awesome. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and hop into mid journey and start creating some of our visual identity. So here we are inside of mid journey and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to type in a men's athletic brand flat lay with, then I'm just going to go ahead and paste in our color palette. A men's athletic brand flat lay with electric blue, graphite gray, and vivid red tones. With an X as the logo. You see a flat lay in all sorts of marketing materials. It's basically just an image that showcases a lot of different projects all next to each other in a really appealing fashion. So mid journey's going ahead to get to work. You'll know exactly what I mean as soon as this is done. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna copy this top section because I'm gonna end up using this for all the rest of our marketing materials. You'll see what I mean in just a second. 
So here we go. These are the images it created. These are really cool. Obviously, Mid Journey isn't perfect. Sometimes you get stuff with weird shoes and things like that, but I think this is awesome. It totally captures the feel of our brand. It feels strong and powerful and bold, and it captures all our color palette and things like that. I think I either like this first or second one. Even the third one is kind of interesting. If we're not happy with these results, we can just go ahead and click this little recycle button and we can click submit, and it's just gonna create a new iteration from that same prompt. So I'm just gonna give it one more spin to see if maybe we get something we like better. So the next thing I'm gonna do is just create a little bit more from our brand identity. So all I'm gonna do is add the word letterhead to the beginning of that sentence, and then pretty much keep the rest the same. I'm gonna say letterhead flat lay for a men's athletic brand with electric blue, graphite gray, and vivid red tones with an X as the logo. This is gonna be the same type of lockup, but instead of using our product, it's just gonna have some letterhead. It's gonna look really clean and professional. These are the new images this created. Maybe it's not perfect, but definitely gives you some good ideas for inspiration. I really like how it uses these diagonal lines in the background here that kind of relate to the letter X that's for our brand. So I think that's really cool and interesting. Okay, so here's our letterhead mock-up. I like these a lot. I think these are really clean and professional looking. You can definitely use these on your website, or if you want to maybe get some ideas if you're really going to print out some of this, really good for inspiration. Next thing we want to do is I want to create a little bit of product photography. So I'm gonna basically use a lot of the same prompt. So I'm just gonna copy and paste that in and I'm just gonna say a strong male model for a, take out the words flat lay, a strong male model for a men's athletic brand with electric blue, graphite gray, and vivid red tones with an X as the logo. Same prompt, using the same prompt for everything so that we have consistency and style and tones and color palette but we're just getting different types of images for the website. Again, we have the product flat lay, we have the letterhead flat lay. Now we're gonna get some stuff with some models. And then lastly, we're gonna use this to create some inspirational ideas for the website UI. These are very cool. I love these a lot. I really like this bottom left one here. That's exactly the vibe that I'm going for. This, these are all really good, honestly. This one's cool and moody, great vibes there. The other thing that you can do, which is a little mid-journey trick, if you click recycle, you can just add dash dash style space raw, which is gonna give it more of a photorealistic look, like it's actual product photography that somebody shot with a real camera. So let's see what happens if we use that same prompt and add style raw to the end to see if we can get something that looks like somebody shot it with an actual camera. Once again, these are really cool. This first dude's arm is huge. Look at that thing, that is massive. I love this photography. I think this is really cool and interesting. Great for inspiration. You could literally just take these and put these on the site as is. Great idea for a logo. I love this kind of painterly look. The last thing we want to do is we just want to create some mock-ups kind of for our website and what the website might actually look like. So again, I'm using that same prompt. I'm just going to type in website UI for a men's athletic brand, et cetera, et cetera. And at the end, I just added web design UI UX. That's going to give it just a little bit more information from us so that it knows that we really just want the UI of the website and not a lot of extra fluff. Sticking with a little bit of this flat lay look, I think these are cool. These are really nice and clean. These are nice and clean. There's some really interesting things here. Again, this isn't showcasing our product necessarily here, but in terms of kind of website layout and web design, this is a really great place to start going for information and for ideation. I went ahead and just created a couple more iterations of these because I was curious. I love the look of this for mobile design. I think that's really cool and clean. And then again, with one more flat lay image, this is really cool. It includes some products and some website UI in there. Really cool and unique. And just like that, in only a couple minutes, we've created an entire brand for our men's athletic apparel company. We started off in ChatGPT asking it to define what a brand is. Then we had it ask us some questions about our personal brand so that it could get more information from us. And then we had ChatGPT use the information we provided to fill in the rest of the answers, to create a name for our brand, to create a tagline for our brand, and to create marketing copy for the website. Then we hopped into Midjourney. We created all the visual assets for our brand. We created product photography, flat lays, letterhead, flat lays, male model photography, and website UI design. If you want to learn more cool ways to use AI and how to build brands with it, just hit the subscribe button or check out this video right here.